Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my Echo Park Warehouse box sale haul to share with you guys. And I have no idea what's inside this box other than what I kind of see up here on the front. But, but I couldn't show you guys like the actual opening because that's where my address is and everything. But all I did was open this up. I haven't even touched anything. Um, so this is just kind of how it came. And I'm going to show you guys what is in this box. So the warehouse box sale, I did post about it when they were having the sale so that you were able to get your hands on it if you wanted it. It's $50 and that includes shipping. Um, so you only pay $50 flat and they send you this box of like a bunch of random stuff kind of stuff that they were, I don't know, getting rid of or whatever it is. Um, I don't know the reasoning. They have sales all the time and I post about them all the time. The only time I don't post sales is if it's just like maybe like $2 ephemera or $1 stickers. Like if it's just specific to one thing, I don't post it. But when they have uh, warehouse box sales, I post those. And when they have warehouse sales where they have paper and they have different collection kits and they have ephemera and they have chipboard for sale when they have all these things for sale i post about those too on my channel um, but you guys could also just sign up to be notified from their website when they have these sales going on but i'm going to show you guys what's in the warehouse box sale for september of 2022 and let's get started Okay, so I do see they sent me a couple of goodies and things here. Um, ooh, they got, gave me a new coupon code. I don't like sharing it because I feel like the coupon code, you should be ordering the box in order to get the coupon code. So it is on the back of this. I will be using that for next time. They discontinued my other coupon code, so I wasn't even able to do a coupon on this one. Like normally I, I could use the coupon code and then only pay $45. Um, but this time they discontinued that other coupon that I did have. So now I have a new one for next time. But this album is so cute that they have here. A cute little pumpkin shape. You definitely get some inspiration from here. It's so adorable. And they just talk about, and they just talk about becoming a member of their Echo Park, uh, club. Um, here they sent me some flare buttons. And I love me some Christmas ones, so why not? I could always turn these into paper clips, which is what I do with these, and I love doing that with them. Sometimes I use them as embellishments, but most of the time I turn them into paper clips and I just add them onto my projects. So that will come in handy. This, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a paper petal, um, and it's like a 10 inch flower that you create, so it's a white one. They gave you all the petals and everything, and it's a uh, textured paper. So I could always make a flower. They gave you an art print by Cardabella. I will not be using this for anything. I will tell you that now. Um, I don't get art prints off from them often, but um, yeah, this is one that's definitely going to just go straight in the trash because we don't need that. Um, ooh, Christmas cheer. Oh, I do have this collection, so that's fantastic. Um, they sent the adhesive brads from the Christmas cheer collection, and these are so stinking cute. These are probably one of my favorite, like, adhesive brads. Um, and then they even have some sticky chipboard on the bottom here. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a sticker chipboard. Um, so that's always going to come in handy, and especially since I have the collection, but it also just comes in handy with really, with whatever, um, Christmas collection you might have in your stash. I see two washi tapes. One of them is from the Lost in Neverland collection. So like it's like a Peter Pan-ish kind of theme. And the other one is Hello Baby It's a Girl, which is this one. And it's just the ABCs. So there's those two washi tapes. And then we have this collection that says it's your birthday. I don't have this one. I don't believe I do. So let me actually move this to the side. You guys see, I will be pulling from this, but I wanna be able to show you guys the paper. Um, so I'm just gonna move that off to the side and zoom you guys in. All right, so this is it's your birthday. I think I have like 
maybe like some birthday girl or something, but I don't believe I have this one at all. So I'm just going to put this straight into my birthday um, uh, box. So here's what this looks like. Definitely for like a younger child and I'm showing you guys top and bottom. Um, just doing like a little flip through. This one has cut up parts here. And that's what that looks like. Really, really cute though. Colorful. How cute would this even be to just make, make cards for when you're donating to like cards for cubs or foster kids? Very cute. Balloons and cake. These strips and candles. Oops polka dots and all fun kinds of things and then I think that repeats right yeah all right so that one is it's your birthday okay so I'm gonna put this one aside next up I got wish upon a star it is a Disney themed collection I do have this one and I have shown it before so I'm not gonna show you guys this in detail this one I'll do a quick little flip through um, but you guys could see like Here's another thing that I did get in my warehouse box. Um, so here's the papers. You can never have too much Disney, right? But next year, instead of maybe possibly using up my Christmas stash, maybe next year I gotta be using up my Disney stash. Okay, so next up I also got some chipboard. This one I got from the pool party collection. And it's just a bunch of like summer phrases. You don't have to use this with the pool party collection. Though I think some of these colors um, will specifically go best with the pool party collection. Um, but I mean, you could, help, you could also just use this with whatever other colorful summer collection you might have in your stash. You don't necessarily have to use it with pool party. But that's one of the chipboards I got. This is the chipboard phrases. Then I also got the chipboard frames from the Christmas cheer collection, which like I said before, I do have in my stash and I don't have this. I don't buy the frames. So that um, will be good to have in my stash. Now that I have them, I could use them. I just, for a couple of frames, I don't like spending the money on the chipboard frames. I rather spend it on like the phrases. Um, so I don't buy the frames, but if it's, you know, kind of free or it's included in my box, why not? Now that I have it, you might as well use it. Um, then they also sent me the chipboard frames from the Gather at Home collection. I'm pretty sure I have this collection as well. So that's what this looks like. You can use the insides of this. You could use some of these as frames. You could tuck photos into it. Um, so that is really cute. You could add acetate to it, whatever you want to do. Then um, I also got um, some die cuts. There's always some kind of a die cut sheet. Normally, I love when I get the Christmas ones. It doesn't look like I have any Christmas unless there's some more that I'm not seeing. But here's a like a summer camp one. And this one was just kind of like laying around. Um, but it's just die cuts. And they pop right out. So I could use this with whatever camping collection. I'll just put this right aside and go with my camping or a travel kind of um themed goodies so that was in there i'm gonna put that one to the other side because those die cuts like to come apart it looks like i got another die cut sheet this one is from the lost in neverland collection and i do have it um this collection in the six by six paper pads i have a couple of those so i could always use these with um that even if it's me just using it to put on like the cover of an album, like I don't have the sticker sheet or anything um, to go because I don't have the collection kit. So I could always use these and even the words, you can fly dreams. Um, so that's cute. I'm definitely going to use that whenever I get to that collection. And then it looks like I got another camping one. Oh, I did get a, oh, I got a Christmas one too. I got so many. Normally I get like one die cut sheet. I think occasionally I've had two, but this is my third one and I see a fourth one. So like, that's pretty awesome. Um, but here is another like camping kind of fishing one. Um, so that one is fun. I like this one. Today's good mood is brought to you by the lake. I like that. Um, so, you know, just some more die cuts and you could feel free to make cards with this. Like I think these make great 
sentiments on cards. If you have a ton of scraps from certain collections, these make great sentiments. Um, that's actually what I've done with one of my Christmas die cut sheets before. I just used it to make a bunch of cards. Here is a Christmas one. So this is um, die cut sheet number four. And then there was another one under this. So <laughs> this is the most die cut sheets I've ever gotten. This is awesome. Um, I do like them a lot. So this is great. Um, I love Christmas. You guys know I love my Christmas die cut sheets. Um, so I will definitely find a use for these, even if it's just me making a bunch of cards. But these are really, really cute. I don't know what collection this is from off the top of my head. It might be um, my favorite Christmas, um, possibly, but I'm not entirely sure. So there's this die cut sheet. And then here's the next one. Okay, there's no more under this. Oh my gosh, but I'm so excited with the paper underneath that. Okay, hold on, guys. So this is from the Witches and Wizards um, collection that they have. And I have the 6 by 6 paper pads. I might have a collection kit that goes with this as well. I'm not entirely sure, but this one is like the Harry Potter themed um, collection. So this one is good also. And I have made some, a couple like Harry Potter albums, like Harry Potter themed albums before using this collection. Um, so this will be fun to use because I do have some more of that paper. After I used it the first time, um, people really enjoyed it. So I bought some more of that Harry Potter paper. I just haven't gotten to it. Um, okay, this I'm really excited about because I actually wanted to get this during their last warehouse sale, but then I never clicked like the checkout button. Um, I did want the ones that say thank you also, but this is perfect. It says congratulations. And I think these are just so great just to make some simple cards, guys. Simple cards with this beautiful background that's foiled and it comes with a black with gold foil, ivory with gold foil, and navy blue with gold foil. Like, I could just make sets of cards from one sheet here and get, like, six cards or so. So, I love, I love these. These are great. I had, I have um some sets in my, um, in my Etsy shop with the ones that say thank you. Because they also have ones that say thank you. Then, they also sent me this, which I was also looking at this. Because why not? Why shouldn't you have some polka dot paper in your stash so that's awesome that I also got this in the um warehouse box sale and this one actually has from what it looks like it might actually be rose gold on one side maybe gold on the other but this is rose gold um polka dots but you got a navy blue an ivory a red then you have a white a craft and the black so that is so fun oh they're all um the rose gold color so you could always add that to something and then they sent me this collection this one is called christmas market i don't even know if i have this one in my stash so let me go through this one i might um but i am not entirely sure so this one i'm just gonna show you guys okay so Christmas market. Okay, this does not look familiar, so maybe I don't have it. Here's the back. There's these cut up parts. Yeah, these don't look familiar at all. Maybe I have it and I haven't used the collection yet, but this is looking really cute. Um, little houses with the truck. Ooh. Okay, I'm officially convinced I do not have this collection. This is so cute. Okay, I'm loving it. Love this paper. And this is by their um, sister company, Cartabella. So it's like the slightly thicker textured paper. A bunch of tags on here. And the back side has Christmas trees. Then these little like wreaths. And I love this as like a neutral, like nice fun background. Poinsettias. And the back side. I think that's holly then you have four by six cut aparts like you could just stick these on a card and make some note cards that's also cute and some flowers and pine cones back here then you have this uh plaid check some plaids and this like greenish design ornaments and the back side this plaid 
Then you have these like strips that you can cut out and embellish. You can add them to a spine and the back side. Another plaid design, some snowflakes on the back. And then here is the sticker sheet. This is such a fun collection. I'm really loving that. I thought I had it in my stash, but I don't know. This doesn't look familiar at all. So maybe I don't. Okay, so that was the Christmas market collection. And then they also sent me this one called Farm to Table. I'm pretty sure I have this one in my stash too. Um, I think I actually bought this recently. Maybe. I think I, I think this maybe is the one that I wanted to create an album with for my sister. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So we're going to show you guys. Um, you have some cut aparts here. Okay, yes, I think I do have this because I remember seeing this little paprika. Um, here's the back. Some chickens and chicks. And the back these cut aparts here and the back side yeah okay I think I definitely have this one and this side then you got this little like kitchen with stripes on the back mason jars with coffee and flour and all these veggies on the back these flowers and plaid four by six cut aparts and the back side this like vintage -y. oh this has a bunch of like recipes like you could cut these out and just like tuck them in to your album but I don't know if I would do that either like I like the cut aparts but then I also like like this would be so fun to include I don't know um, you got these like cut aparts and then the back side these cows and pigs and the back plaids this design with like pots and pans a rolling pin mixing and whisks and this is the back side and then we have the sticker sheet so that is the farm to table collection which i'm pretty sure i have in my stash that i think i bought on my own pretty sure i did um, so there's that one. Then they also sent me this one called Scenic Root. I don't think I have this one either. I might. I don't love it. Um, just from looking at it already. But, you know, it'll come in handy one of these days. I'm sure. Um, so here is Scenic Root. Oh, this one has a, pay, um, a design on the back of the cover already. Then you have this, polka dots with these airplanes. I've got this one and this. Oh, you get two. Okay, four by six and these are all um, vertical. I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. That's cute. And the back side, I like these tickets. So two of each. Then you have these globes and the back side. Suitcases. I thought this was more of a manly collection, but there's like women on here. And the back side, but it doesn't mean that you have to use the one, the images with the women. Like you could just use it to make some kind of manly collection or manly album. You could just use the other side of the paper. And then there is this uh, sticker sheet. This could be actually really, really come in handy for like a travel um, collection for a man or for a woman, whichever you want. And then they also sent me the summertime collection, which I'm not gonna show you guys because I do have a couple of these already in my stash, but I like this collection. So it's cute, it's summery. I like summer. It's all good. They also sent me this one called A Cozy Christmas, which I also have in my stash. And I'm pretty sure I have used on some kind of an album. 
Um, but I do have another one now. I think I have one of these in my stash already, but we got another. And then last but not least, we have this one called That's My Boy. Um, I do not have this one in my stash, so I will show you this one. This looks like a fun um, album to make for like an older uh, child. So this one looks like this. And you get one of each here. So there's that here, paintball, the back side, these squares, and these, these stripes, and then here, you've got these polka dots, and this design. You've got this one with a bunch of numbers, and I, I guess it's like some addition in here as well. Percents, I don't know. Just a bunch of random stuff and some stripes. Um, these are like game controllers, video game controllers, and the back has like these faded arrows. Um, these rockets with like a lined background, stripes and plaids. And then this background, three by four cut aparts here. And the back side, basketball, football, baseball. Then you have four by six cut aparts here. Oh, that's so nice. Son, so proud of you. Like you could definitely make this an album for your son or older child. And then you have these like strips. Boys will be boys, you're awesome. I love you just the way you are. And the back side. And then you have the sticker sheet right here. All right, so that is that collection. And that is actually everything that I got in my warehouse box. And there is Hazel. Um, now squeaking her uh, tour. She just ran in here. Just came back from a walk and ran right up here. Um, so that is everything I got from the Echo Park warehouse box sale. So let's see. I got one, two, three, um, four collection kits, five collection kits, six collection kits. Um, then I also got these two. Do these count as collection kits? I mean, they're like half collection kits. There's six um, sheets of each, but let's count it. So eight, we got um, three chipboards, two six by six paper pads, um, adhesive brads. We got these paper petals. We got these flare buttons. We got this art print. And then we got five die cut sheets. So. For 50 bucks, oh, and we also got two washi tapes. So for 50 bucks, really good price. Um, there are a few of these collections that I know I will use, like the summer, the Christmas ones, the pool party. Oh, I didn't get pool party, but um, this other Christmas one, I'm happy I got two Christmas ones. I know I'll use these other ones here. The other ones, like the boy ones, the scenic group, that might take me a little while to use because I don't know what I need to use it for, but. Um, I know I'll get to it at some point and then sell an album that I make with it because you guys know I sell mostly everything but I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys if you guys ordered one I hope you're expecting yours soon and I hope it's just as fun and exciting um, for you guys I hope you like whatever you get in yours let me know if you did and if it's similar to mine and what you have that may be different from mine um, if you also got this warehouse box sale this time around and let me know what you guys think which collections would you use? Which collections would you not use from this? Just let me know. All right, guys. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.